Hello everybody, this is Mr. Storm. In this video, I am gonna show you how to set up your gradebook for the new term. Um, I'm also going to go over the steps on how to link your Canvas and Aspire accounts together for your class. So that way you only have to maintain one gradebook and you don't have to worry about um, you know, any uh, maintaining two different gradebooks or having them not match, that kind of stuff. So the first step is to set up your grade book in Aspire. Now, I've already chosen the class that I want to set up my grade book for. This is going to be for my Exploring Computer Science 1 course. Um, I've skipped the steps to get to this menu because I didn't want to show you student data um, in this video. Um, but essentially what you do is you click on the tile of the course inside your classes menu. And then on the right hand side, you will see a list of items. One of them is Gradebook. You're going to click the Setup link next to Gradebook, and it'll bring you to this menu. So, as you can see, this is a three step process or a four step process if you're not linking your, your uh, stuff together. Uh, step one is to define the subject template. So, what this means is you can create a set of categories by which you're going to assess your students. So you can have, uh, let's just do an example. Sure, Mr. Storm, yeah, we'll do Mr. Storm um, semester one. And let's say I want to weight my categories so I can click there and I can, you know, say this is going to be category one. It'll be assignments term one and it's going to be worth 50%. And then category two can be quizzes, quizzes, term one. Um, you can even just do assignments. You don't have to do term one. So assignments, quizzes, we'll say quizzes is 40%. And then three is going to be participation. Now, if you're uh, confused as to what these categories mean or how you specifically should use them, talk to your department chair. Your department chair is going to be able to tell you this is the standard for our department or they're going to say, eh, do whatever makes sense for your classroom. It's, it's kind of up to them. So check with them whenever you're figuring out how am I going to weight my, my assignments. And then you can do choose or select a mark set. Here at UMA, we use letter marks with pluses and minuses. Letter marks with pluses and minuses. So I'm going to choose that. Notice that 83 or above is an A. 80 or 9, or sorry, not, not 83. 93 and above is an A. Uh, 90 and above is an A minus, or from 90 to 93. Um, so this mark set works pretty well. I don't see any errors here so far. So this should be the mark set that we're using. Um, again, check with your department to make sure you're using the right mark set. Make sure that all of these numbers are appropriate. But once you put in your categories and your mark set, you can click save. And you have to have a name as well. Um, for me personally, I don't weight my grades, so I'm going to uncheck category weighting. Um, and I'm just going to say assignments. So I have one group called assignments, and I have my mark set. Now I can click save. Perfect. So that's step one. Now, if we want to go back to that same menu or that same list of items we were just in, we can hover over day to day and go back down to gradebook. Now, if you're not gradebook, <laughs> day to day, and sorry, uh, let's go to define class. Um, so now that you've created a mark set, or a, a, a subject template, you can use that subject template for all of your classes. So I can say my B2 Exploring Computer Science class, and I want to choose the subject template that I want to use. So I can click there, and I can go to my Mr. Storm Semester 1, right? Um, and click Save. And I'm just going to actually just use, uh, normally I, I my, my real one is Computer Lab, so I'm going to use Computer Lab and click save. So now I see that my B2 Exploring Computer Science class has a subject attached to it. I have my one category, which is assignments, and then I have my mark set, which is appropriate. It's already saved, but I always save it again just, just in case. 
So now that this is set up properly, we can now go into Canvas. So here's my Canvas course for exploring computer science. This is gonna be for 2024, semester one. Um, and in this area, or in, in Canvas, this is where we do the next step in the process. If you are only using Aspire, let's say you're not gonna be tracking grades in Canvas, first question is, why not? And second question is, um, why not? Uh, if you're only doing it there, then the next step here would be to define tasks. You would go to this menu here in Aspire. And did I finally lose connection? Uh-oh. I may have lost connection here. Come on. In this menu, you're going to have a bunch of items where you can type in the name of the assignment, how many points it's worth, the due dates, all of those things. I'm going to just leave that alone. I'll let that keep loading. Um, so over here in Canvas, let's say you want to link your grade books together. So if I go to assignments, this is a fully built Canvas course, or at least fully built for this first term, right? The first thing I need to do is I need to make sure that my groups are set up the way that I want them to. You can create new assignment groups here by clicking, clicking plus group, type in the name and the percentage total of their grade. For me, because I only have one assignment group, it's 100% of the total of their grade for this term. Um, oh, here's the defined task menu. So you can pick your group, the date that it's due, the name of the assignment, and then the points possible. You can list all those and click save, and then your grade book is built in Aspire. But we're gonna do it this way. So I already have my assignments with due dates, with point values assigned to them. Everything is in here, right? Um, except I'm noticing that build a computer is not, does not have a due date assigned to it. So let me go ahead and change that real quick. In order to sync your assignments, you have to have due dates assigned, right? So that must have been an error. I must have been showing someone how to do something and I hit the wrong button. So we'll go in here. That's going to be due August 28th save all right and then we'll go back to assignments so let me just double check here so I have due dates good point values good my final exam for that unit all right everything's good so you have to have due dates the other thing that you have to have is you want to make sure that these assignments are all checked to sync with your student information system so I'm just gonna go through and make sure they're all checked they have to be published as well which is what that other green check mark means so check 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 boom boom hello there we go all right perfect so all of my assignments are set to sync whenever i turn on the sync so the next thing you want to do is on the header of your group, you're going to go over to these three dots here. Sorry, no, never mind. Up at the very top of the screen, you're going to go to these three dots. And you're going to click Sync SIS Categories. And this is going to pull the categories that you created when you uh, um, define this class over in Aspire. So term one. I am going to associate my B2 section of Exploring Computer Science. Oh, you know what? B3 isn't going to have the group. Let me go ahead and do that real quick. So I'm going to go to uh, Define Class. And for B3, now notice I have two options here. I have Copy Course or Copy Subject Template. Um, I can grab that class I already built and just copy it straight over. Um, if I have a bunch of tasks listed in there, then that's probably the best way to go. Or I can just choose my subject template again. Okay, so now that class is ready to go. So now my B2 and B3 Exploring Computer Science classes are updated um, in Aspire, ready to accept the link. So let's go back over to Exploring Computer Science. I'm going to close out that menu and click Sync SIS Categories. 
So now in term one, or for the term one group, I want to link that to assignments term one, and for B2, and for B3, I want to link that also to assignments term one. Term one. So I'm going to click sync categories. All right, categories, successfully synchronized categories. All right, so now my categories have been synced properly. I'm going to push my, my uh, screen over just a bit because I'm about to get into, oh, hold on. I'm about to get into the grade book and I don't want you guys to see anything you shouldn't see. So let me scroll over. Okay. So let's put this much here on the screen. So I know it's not ideal, but you can see that I have my grade book. It's all built out. For some reason, this hardware quiz is a zero for everybody. I can fix that later. Um, but what I can do is, uh, it's not gonna, all right. So let's see, how much of this can I get over here without showing student names? About that much? All right, here's what we're gonna do. You're gonna have to take my word for it. When you're done uh, putting in grades, there is um, over here on this side, there's an, an item called actions. The actions item has, an, has a, um, a button called sync to SIS. So when you're done updating grades for that course, you can click sync to SIS and it's gonna update that course in, um, in Aspire. Okay, perfect. Good, good, good. I'm looking, I'm looking. Yeah, everything looks good here. Beautiful. All right, so that is really the whole Aspire Canvas link thing. Let me go back to my dashboard so I don't have student names on here. That's really as easy as it, like that, that's how you set up your link between Canvas and Aspire. Um, super easy. And then now all I have to do is update grades in my Canvas courses. And then I can just tell it to sync and it will push the grades over to, um, to Aspire. And um, I don't have to maintain or take a look at both grade books. Now, obviously you wanna take a look at your Aspire grade book, I'd say at least once a week, just to make sure no, there's no weirdness or wonkiness or whatever. Um, but this link I've been told is in extremely stable. It's super easy to use. So um, there you go. That's how you set up your Aspire grade book and your Canvas grade book for the classes coming up. Please let me know if you have any questions and, uh, and I'll see you next time.